What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I managed to have my Squid Proxy server in Grafana. The Squid Proxy server logs are now coming to Grafana and I'm able to visualize them and easily tell what's going on, at least have an idea. So in this video, I'll give you a brief overview of how I have everything set up. I'll tell you which technologies I'm using, which software I'm using, then if you decide that you like this, consider li liking this video and subscribing. I'll be creating a whole series way which you can follow and actually end up with graphs like this. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I do uh, set up, I post the whole series. First, let me tell you how I have the lab set up. My lab is running in VMware and I'm running a domain controller. Then I have Grafana, Graylog, RCS log and my PFSense. That's all I have. And for a long time, I just sent all my logs. I actually do send a bunch of my logs to Graylog for viewing purposes. And in, in addition to that, I just end up with Grafana dashboard. So first thing we need to understand is these are the servers that you're going to need. You're going to need Grafana whether it's on a dedicated machine or not. You're going to need Graylog. Graylog and Grafana can be on the same machine. They are, they, they are easy to run. RCS log is actually optional from what I can tell. Uh, you don't need RCS log, but that's what I'm using for all my logs in the whole lab. So I already had a syslog server, RCS log. You can have it or not, but it's optional to actually end up with the graphs that we have. So before I did everything, the first thing I needed was to make sure that I have Squid Proxy server running. And my Squid is actually running in my PFSense here, as you can see. The service, the Squid Proxy server is running. I'll be showing you how to set up Squid on a PFSense. It's very simple. It takes less than five minutes. You pretty much go to your system package manager and on the available packages, you'll be able to install Squid it's very simple and just say install so that's what i did there's a small little trick to make sure that your squid logs end up on the same log location like everything else in pfsense and i will show you that right now so if you want your squid logs to end up with all the other logs go to services squid then you set up everything the way you normally do and i'll be showing you that later but if you decide to go ahead right now, you need to add this line right here. If you add this line to your squid in PFSense, you end up with a folder for squid logs. This is how you create it. I'll be showing you later, but this is just a brief overview. Then after you have your squid ready, you wanna have either gray log running. I highly encourage that you install gray log. And once you install gray log you can index these logs and it's very simple to set up it actually doesn't take a long time to set everything up that you're looking at I, mean, I think it took me about like three hours but that's you know in increments i'll be showing you how to set this up so you don't need to spend three hours it's very simple if you follow my next videos you'll be able to get this up and running in no time then um, after you install gray log, you index all your logs. The next thing you need to do is just point your gray log straight to Grafana by adding it as a data source. As you can see here, my gray log with the elastic search is actually listed as a data source. That's all you need. And you end up with graphs that look exactly like mine here. Like I said, the setup is very simple and um, it's not complicated at all. Then let me show you now, now that we went through the overview of how I have it set up. What do I have on this screen? I have um, total traffic. I just like that. And these graphs are just what I created. It's, there's a lot of other options that you can create and I'll be showing you very soon that of all the data that I'm getting. I have total traffic, top visited site. I like to know what's well, what the most visited site is at any particular time. This actually can be very great if you are a security analyst or if you are just a network administrator. If you see a certain suspicious site being the most visited, then you can act on it quickly. 
I have time, of course, because I want to see it on the dashboard. Top client, I always want to know who the top client is in every 24 hours. And from this, you can actually make decisions. Like, why is this person a top client every single day? What are they doing really that's different? And then um, you can see events over time. You can set up a baseline so that you know that, uh, say for example, I have at least, I have less than 150 over time. If I came one day and I have 3,000 events at any given time, that will raise suspicion. Then I would have to investigate why that is happening. That's why I like to see graphs like this. Then, of course, I have top destinations. I want to know the top websites uh, on, on my list. So if you see YouTube being the top destination, you might want to address that. If you see Dropbox being the top destination, you want to address that. And if you see Pirate Bay, <laughs> is a uh, top destination then you definitely need to be concerned squid codes these are codes that squid spits out depending on the status of the visit to the website i'll be talking about that, that in the series as well then i have raw metrics here this is the actual logs i can see them in real time actually as they come in i'll be able to see them down here i just have uh, the top cl 10 client usage top user usage I mean, this, this needs to be refined, of course, but uh, this is what I've been playing with. Then I also have a total web traffic here. If you uh, ask me what happened between this time and here and why did it drop and now it's, it's low, I'll be able to tell you. This is where I actually turned off HTTPS and now I'm just uh, proxying HTTP traffic. That's why it's like this. So being able to tell what's going on in your lab is very important. This is all the data that I have. I have the, the duration of the session in bytes. I can create that. Client IP address, that's my clients that I have in here. The duration again, then the method in which the person accessed it, then the peer host, that's the IP address of the host, and all the, these other ones here, including the geolocations. So as you can see, I can get a lot of information from my logs. And this I created uh, what they call grog filters. That's what uh, this information is coming from. So that's what I have everything set up. Just to recap, I have PFSense with Squid. And remember to put this line in. Then I have Graylog, which is uh, run also has Elasticsearch as a back end. And I'm getting all the logs in here. I can use Graylog to search for any message that I want. In addition to that, I have an rsyslog server, and this is the version that I'm running, as you can see here. This is just Ubuntu server running rsyslog, which also comes pre-installed. So this is not really hard, guys. I'll be creating a few videos to show you from scratch. So if you're brand new to Grafana and everything, you'll be able to actually set this up on your own. I'll create documentation and videos with step-by-step -step instru instructions. That's it. I just wanted to show you. Otherwise, remember to like and subscribe my, to my channel and I'll be showing you more of this in a new video.